Excuse me. I'm looking for Detective Falconeri. Yeah, you, uh, <clears throat> you found him. What can I do for you? Nate the West. I'm your new partner. Uh, no one said anything to me about a, a new partner. Yeah, I just got assigned by Commissioner Devane. You can check. Come on, you gonna leave me hanging? Uh, I'm sorry, man. I just, uh, got kind of used to riding solo for the past year. Another feeling. Was, uh, working cold cases solo my last couple of months in the city. Hey, you're a Yankees fan. Yeah, you too? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, too bad about the lack of playoffs last season. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, apparently, 2014 is going to be our year. That's, uh, that's what my wife says, anyway. My kind of girl. So you're married? You mean the kids? Uh, you know, man, I, uh, I don't really want to talk about my personal life. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to pry. I was just... No, no, no. It's not your fault. Uh, my wife and I are just going through some stuff right now. I'm sorry, but it sucks. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you came up from uh, New York. How long you lived there? Born and raised. Oh, yeah, me too. Bensonhurst. Nah, Brooklyn, huh? <laughs> yeah. Let me guess, Manhattan, right? Guilty. Yeah. Well, I hate to break it to you, but our men's room here, it doesn't have bidets and attendants. <laughs> Oh, well, it's okay. They didn't have the days at one police plaza. Oh, yeah, but they had attendance, yeah? You know? Yeah, they were the best. I never once had to wash my own hands. <laughs> well, I know my reasons for uh, transferring upstate. Why did you leave New York? Because of a case. Somebody poor Charles has been up to no good. I'm sure. Not exactly. He's an oncologist here, one of the best in his field. There's Bedside manner leaves a little to be desired. What are you gonna peg for? Well, for starters, Dr. Clay cheated on his wife. I didn't know Clay was married. Yep. Copy of the certificates in there somewhere. Well, you know, cheating on your wife is a rotten thing to do, but it's it's not exactly illegal. No, no but what he did to her is. Look, if we're gonna be partners, man. You gotta level with me here. What do you got on Clay? Your wife has been in a coma this whole time. Why wouldn't you tell me something like that? I should have. No excuse. But I need you to understand. The woman I fell in love with, she's gone. Not long after Nina Clay slipped into her coma, her doctors declared her brain dead. So she's still alive after all this time? In my mind, my wife died more than 20 years ago. But, and you kept her alive all this time? No. I'm the one who wanted to take her off life support. Anita's parents got a court order to keep her hooked up to machines against Silas's wishes. Even though he was her next of kin. So official word is the wife OD'd after she found out about the affair. But uh, you think there's more to it? Yeah, I think her husband intentionally caused her overdose. So you're saying... Silas Clay tried to kill his wife. 